Hey guys, it's Miraline, Delicious Delights. Today I'll be talking about the newest release from Zadig and Voltaire. It's another flinker. It's called This Is Really Her. When I first tried it in the store, I didn't look at the notes or anything, and I wrote down some notes. And then I realized my notes are nowhere near anything <laughs> uh, that it says on Fragrantica. So maybe it's just my nose, maybe it's my chemistry. Oftentimes what I smell doesn't exactly line up uh, with what it says online, but I will stick with my nose. Uh, I will tell you what I think it smells like. Um, I just have to trust my nose, you know what I mean? And I think all of us should. Okay, so first of all, this is really her, 2024 version of This Is Her from Zadig and Voltaire. Um, I want to say that the original This Is Her is amazing. I have loved that scent for a long time. I don't own the bottle. Maybe I will sometime in the future, but I do really, really enjoy that scent. Uh, some of the flankers I thought also were really, really interesting as well. Anyways, back to the scent. This is really her. Uh, the notes listed on Fragrantica uh, the top notes are pink pepper and basil. Uh, the middle notes are rose and chestnut. The base notes are honey, patchouli, and vanilla. So those are the notes. But on my skin, um, I smell different <laughs> to what the notes say. So when I first sprayed it, the first thing that came to my mind is a boozy feeling, a boozy, warm scent and then there's some ginger floating in there but also there's like a sparkling feeling to the scent as well so it's warm but it still has the bubbles and then there's like this nice spiciness to it in here there's pink pepper and yeah i get like this kind of biting kind of uh, spiciness to it but it more reminds me of ginger and there are ginger notes in some other scents um, I think the love this is love for her has ginger and then I think one recent one the undressed version also has ginger so it did remind me of previous scents that they have released there is kind of this spicy gingery kind of scent in the opening but it's still bubbly and kind of sparkly um, as the bottle is. The, the bottle is beautiful. It has like this really nice gold sticker around it. It just really stands out. It sticks out. Um, and yeah, that's the opening for me. So very strange. Also, there's this really nice sweetness. Uh, that's another thing that I noticed with this scent, that underlying that imagery that I just uh, explained. Uh, there is that familiar kind of creamy vanilla sweetness uh, behind there which which I like. Um, the opening kind of took me aback a little bit, but as it dried down, it did change a lot. And what I noticed is that it started turning into a soft, sweet, musky scent. Also a powdery scent. And powder isn't even listed as one of the main accords, but on my skin, it was mostly powdery. A sweet, soft, spicy powdery scent it smells very fancy and elegant it smells expensive though i do have to spend more time with the scent uh, definitely i think it's a very interesting scent especially that strange opening it's very intriguing it's something that i haven't really smelled before and this one this opening is definitely different, but as it dries down, it gets a little bit more familiar. We still have that vanilla sweetness in there and also a creamy woodiness too. Let's see here. The notes um, in the base are honey, patchouli, vanilla, and there's also chestnut in the middle notes. I don't know. Maybe that nuttiness is giving off that woody kind of scent that I smell in here too. Um, honey and vanilla are the sweet scents in here. And then I'm surprised that there aren't any powdery notes in this one because on my skin, it's mostly powdery as it dries down. Um, Long-lasting as well. I am very curious to see 
how this will go when I test this more, but I think it's very interesting. I think it's worth testing, uh, especially if you're looking for something a little bit more unique, uh, not so ordinary, uh, something different from what we smell a lot nowadays with new perfumes. So those were my quick first impressions of Zadig and Voltaire. Uh, this is really her. Uh, I would love to hear your opinion about the scent uh, down in the comments if you've already tried it. Um, yeah, I would love to hear that because this is such a weird and strange and quirky scent. <laughs> um, I'm thinking that there will be a lot of differing opinions about this on how it smells. Uh, but I do like it and I think that it's worth a try. All right, guys, so thank you so much for tuning in today, and I will see you soon in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.